I woke up this morning and it was snowing. It's a Monday, there's a little more snow than normal. I am sitting alone in a library because there is no school. <laughs> So the Student Stories program is new at OSBI this year. Um, we've invited five high school students from across the state to just write honest, authentic stories about their experiences in public education. My first story was about um, academic burnout and highly capable students. I wanted to write about this because, first off, it's something that I have experienced firsthand. And I wanted to shed light on the student experience of highly capable students and how they deal with burnout and uh, losing steam, stuff like that. I had the pleasure of having Monica in my journalism class last year. And it was very apparent at the beginning of the year that she was a strong writer. Whatever she put on the page was clear and succinct. I like to write about my life, like personal journals. I wanted to join Student Story Program because I want to write my story of moving from Korea to Bellevue. And when I look at Tain's work, it's so beautiful, immaculate, but you can tell it's because she puts in so much hard work. There's little notes in Korean, there's little sticky notes that have like translations, but also reminders of herself in Korean. I really enjoy writing. I do writing in my free time as well. Well, I know in college, there's a lot of writing that you have to do specifically in your senior thesis. And I feel like writing in such a quantitative way is a skill that's built up over time. And so in practicing my writing in and out of the classroom, it's really helping me get prepared for that and get prepared for my future. It's been great having her in class. She is one of the strongest writers in the class. She's able to, to break down ideas quickly. It just seems like that might be a skill that a lot of people don't always have with being able to communicate and write. As like an elementary school like kid, you like you're like oh five uh, five paragraphs is like the intro, the, the three bodies, and then like the finishing one, the conclusion. I thought I was bad at it, so because like I didn't like the process at all, and so then once I got like a little more freedom, organize things how I wanted to, I think I really tended to like it more. It has been super cool to see their ability and their knowledge of storytelling practices evolve and to see them dive into subjects that are challenging. I found the writing experience to be very somewhat therapeutic because I was able to see that, oh, I wasn't alone. I, there's so many other students who have gone through the same experience as me. I enjoy reading the other writers' stories a lot because I don't know what goes on in other school districts. I hardly know what other schools are in Washington. So it's interesting to hear other perspectives from other people in different schools and comparing them to my own. Here at OSPI, we believe that students are the experts on their own experience. They're the ones who are in the school system right now, so they're the ones who are really just perfectly situated to tell stories about what it's like to be a student in Washington. Because not one school system is perfect, a lot of them prioritize different things, a lot of them create different kinds of students. So I think it is a very important thing to learn from different cultures and different experiences in order to build an environment that's best for students. We really value student voice here at OSBI. All of the things that OSBI does are ultimately in support of students. I just encourage all high school students, if you have a story to tell, if you are interested in public education and, and care about what's going on at your school, this is the program for you. <laughs>